Quarter Custom Rifles presents You know, managing for trophy whitetail is a 365 day a year job for me. We're out here late summer, burning up, just dreaming of some cooler fall temperatures. Speaking of which, this week, we're gonna be in Oklahoma, late October, hunting the muzzleloader season. You know, Oklahoma has become a sleeper state for big giant whitetails. It's a great state in which you can hunt and kill two bucks, you can hunt over bait, and you can purchase your license over the counter. This muzzleloader hunt in late October allows you to hunt some bucks that are unpressured. They're starting to chase some does around. It's just a perfect time to get in the woods and hunt some of these big whitetails. In camp, we've got Alan and Denise Rovig with their 45 XMLs in search of a big Oklahoma whitetail. Precision Hunting TV is brought to you by McWater Custom Rifles, Extreme Wildlife Adventures, Swarovski Optique, Yeti Coolers, and Barber Creek Shooting Academy. Well, it's late October, and we're headed to Oklahoma with our good friend Larry Ellis, EWA Outfitting. We're carrying our 45 XML long range muzzleloader with a Swarovski on it, and we always shoot them before we leave, so I'm gonna take this out back. And Denise and I are going to shoot this because I don't want her to have no excuses if she misses, but she ain't going to miss. This was built on a board in action. It's got a Brux 20 twist barrel on it, 26 inches. Got our muzzle brake on it, Apex stock. Got a 2.3 to 18 by 56 uh, Swarovski on here with a turret. And uh, it shoots a 325 grain bullet with this load, 3,050 feet a second. So got about 6,700 foot-pounds of energy. That ought to kill a big white tail or a muley. So we're going we're gonna to load her up. That's one of our ignition cartridges. Make sure we're on safe. Put our sport ears on. Going to dial her up to 300. Touching the right-hand side of the dot. I just gave it a little too much wind, but we're... We're half an inch from dead center. Well, that's mine and that's hers. I aimed over on purpose because I want her to think she's killing a bigger deer than me. We always decided we wanted to make a gun that if we missed, it was us. And you can see, there's your proof right there. If we miss, it's us, it ain't the guns. Finally, it's opening morning in Oklahoma. We got two of the 45 XMLs ready to go this morning. Uh, Larry and Dane got a bunch of real enticing yeah. trail camera pictures. and Got uh, me pretty excited. Those Oklahoma bucks are gonna get my quarter eyes this morning. So, yeah. you ready to go? I'm ready. All right, let's go. Nice, I'm chilly this morning. We got 
got in here way before dark, and uh, it's just now getting good daylight. Now we can uh, relax a little bit, do some glassing, sit back and wait. First hit has gone by and um, didn't see a deer this morning and I'm completely shocked. Um, it's pretty chilly. Wind is picking up. I hope it lays down before this afternoon sit. Uh, so we're gonna pack up, go get something warm to eat and try it again this afternoon. This segment of Precision Hunting TV is brought to you by Sport Ear by Axel Hearing Performance. That's him on the right, right. side. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's old. Yeah. How old is he, six and a half? I think he's an old deer. And he was uh, actually out in this little clearing yesterday at about four o'clock. So um, we're hoping he makes another daytime appearance today. It's about 50 degrees right now. I'm gonna go down to mid thirties by, by sundown. And uh, we're set up about 220 yards from this opening and we've got another opening to our right where we put the blind up so that if these deer get past us and they got this fall deer weed field that we have another opportunity for a shot here uh, to the east of this clearing so I think we're in good shape. There's a buck, right open, right open. That's a good buck, big, big web. I think that's a buck, Kenny. I'm trying to see. That's him. 210. All right, I'm fixing to get him. You ready? <laughs> Boy, that didn't take long. 45 XML, 210 yards, dropped in the tracks. He's not even moving a muscle. He's dead. <laughs> Dang, give me five, Kenny. <laughs> Look at this old buck. What an old warrior. That's him. That's the buck that Dane put us in here on. That's a six and a half year old buck. There's bigger bucks in Oklahoma. But this buck, Dane's got some history with. He's 20 inches wide, got good long beams. Look at the brow tine, just nice, good color. Just uh, an old monarch. This, uh, this deer showed up yesterday on uh, trail camera at about four o'clock, 4.15, and he showed up today, the time changed, so he showed up almost the exact same time. You just don't see that much. He made a 
made a terrible mistake. We got up there and put us a blind on the hill about 220 yards back and uh, cleared us a little, couple little shooting lanes real quick, discreetly. We're shooting 325 grain Pittman bullets about 2,800 feet a second on our smokeless uh, muzzleloader here. What a trophy, what a trophy. Well, we got some work to do. Let's go get the truck and get in here and get him loaded and we'll get him caped out and cut up. Good deal, what a great deer. Thank you for this day and thank you for these blessings that surround this table. Please be of those and man uh, who need you and please forgive us for we've fallen short. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 You didn't ask for your niece to see a deer tomorrow? Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta pick Gracie on that. Uh -oh. that. Uh, that's <laughs> this is this is mine by myself, right? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Chad's just gonna make sure it, he catches me looking like Mr. Grubbin. Oh, yeah, yeah uh, I've never seen mashed lasagna before. <laughs> Italian style? Yeah. Get it, get it. It's a bit of action series. Watch this. <laughs> Precision Hunting TV is brought to you by Hoff Power Auto and Outdoor Stores. Rudy's Country Store and Barbecue, Sport Ear by Axel Hearing Performance, and Surge Pro by Biofac Crop Care. Hey, James back here with Barber Creek Long Range Hunting and Shooting School. We're going to talk a little bit about how to use a wind meter properly. Two mistakes people make is number one, if they're shooting from the prone, they'll take their wind reading down here at the ground. And what you'll notice, if I hold this into the wind direction down here, I'm at 2.9, now I'm at three, three mile an hour. And if you stand up where the bullet's actually gonna be traveling at, which is about eight feet above the ground, I'm at 3.3, 3.7, 3.9. The wind speed has a higher shear or a higher effect on a bullet the higher the bullet goes in the air so we're about eight feet above the ground at a thousand yards so what i'm telling you is when you use a wind meter you should always hold the wind meter up as high as you can or at max ordinance of where that bullet's traveling so where the wind's going to affect it the most don't do it when you're shooting from the prone and kneeling down next if the wind's coming from this direction like it is my target is 12 o'clock so that there's going to be my eight o'clock I don't want to sit there and have to do math in the field. So at a three mile an hour wind or two mile an hour wind, I'm going to have to do the math. So it's two mile an hour and it's coming from eight o'clock. So it's a 76 or 75% value. I don't want to do any of that. Literally take your wind meter and hold it perpendicular, perpendicular to the bullet's path and hold it up as high as you can. And instead of a two or three mile an hour wind, I'm only dealing with right now a 1.2 mile an hour wind. So again, don't get full value of the wind meter. Let the wind hit the wind meter just like it's hitting your bullet. Keep your wind meter perpendicular to the bullet's path and then you have no math. You don't have to do any kind of calculations or any kind of algorithms. It's real simple, all right? No 50%, no 75%, no 86, just straight whatever the wind's doing against your bullet. That's another downrange shooting tip from Barber Creek Long Range Shooting School. Thanks for joining us. Well, that old buck got hammered by a 45 XML, so I'm done in Oklahoma, but now it's Denise's turn, and I wouldn't bet against that woman. She can shoot, and she's gonna definitely try to kill a buck bigger than mine. All right, you ready? I'm ready. We're, we're changing it up today. Denise is my shooter. Switching, swatching. Swatching, swatching, flopping. It's gonna be good this morning. Yep. We're so confident. We swap guns. We swap backpack. Everything. Yeah, we're screwed. Yeah. <laughs> if we have, if I have everything I need today, it's gonna be a miracle. But I will have my muzzle no, loader. I will have a muzzle loader. I will have an ignition cartridge. I will have binoculars. And shooting sticks and what else you really what need? What else we really she's need? Uh, she's gonna... setting up her excuse. No, she, she's setting no. up the excuse. No, no, no excuses. We're gonna put one on the ground. Right, That's it. Go. Putting them on the ground.
set in yesterday um, and give it a try. We've got a couple of really big deer that have been moving between these areas. Precision Hunting TV is brought to you by Capstone Precision Group, Brooks Barrels, Borden Accuracy, Trigger Tech, Revolution Safe Company, Safari Club International Foundation, and Browning Trail Cameras. This segment of Precision Hunting TV is brought to you by Rudy's Country Store and Barbecue, Real Texas Barbecue. hadn't even cooled off from the walk-in and gotten settled in good and we had dozed so it's like well this actually may happen we got some more does and we're we're getting pretty excited and keeping the glass up and just watching all of the prairie around us So this big guy is coming in, and it, it felt to me like it happened really quick. He's chasing. All right, I'm going to put my left ear plug in. Go ahead and pile up to 300 dollars. Once I got on him, I got pretty excited. I'm like, this is my buck, and this is going to happen. Larry um, helped me with the windage and we got the yardage at 313 yards. Come up one, come up one quick. If you feel good, you can take it. I would aim about one inch to the right of where you want to aim, you know, or where you want to hit. Just, just make sure you're in the shoulder there. Good. We're gonna have just a little bit of drift from right. Are you ready? <laughs> we got our buck on the ground in Oklahoma. That happened so fast. 313 yards. We've had a very, very slow, hard few days. And uh, I can't believe we got this buck on the ground. I cannot believe it. I believe it. I believe it. McWhorter 45 XML, 313 yards, 250 pounds, DRT. Larry Ellis and Dane Drake, um, they've got 40,000 acres of free range hunting. So it's not always easy to just narrow down where a deer is going to step out when you go out and get in a blind. Oh man, look at this buck. He is so unique. I fell in love with this guy. Um, saw him on trail cam, Larry and Dane spotted him for us and uh, I fell in love with him. And I've been hunting him hard for three days. This couldn't have happened more beautifully. This, this big guy comes out and stops at 313 yards. The McWhorter 45 XML put the smack down on him just dropped him in his tracks at 313 yards. This is like one of the best feelings that I've had on a hunt. Um, just absolutely amazing. I'm so thankful to EWA Hunting, partnered up with Dane Drake. Just been a, been a great few days. It's been tough. We haven't had the best weather, but just what a beautiful hunt and a beautiful deer. Um, just so thankful for this. Oh. How far was he? 313 yards. 313. 313. Did you smoke him? That was three clicks, six clicks, plus one. Yeah. 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 Did I smoke him? Where'd you hit him? Kneecap? No, he didn't. Good job. <laughs> Good job. He just Good went. Job. <laughs>